Hamilton Police Forensic Detective Mark Miller, seen here leaving John Sapinka Courthouse today, told the court that on the morning of January 17th, 2018, he was advised to go to Justin Dumfries Barton Street apartment. I was asked to search for blood, he told the court. When Miller started his inspection of Dumfries' apartment that morning, 29-year-old Holly Hamilton's unusual disappearance was still a missing persons case. But just hours later, her frozen body would be found in the trunk of her work vehicle in an underground parking lot on Bar Lake Avenue stabbed 17 times. Inside Dumfries' bachelor apartment, Miller testified that he looked around in the kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom. But it was only when he got down on his hands and knees and started looking at the details that he found blood stains, several of them, on and under the radiator near the kitchen, on the door of the bathroom, on the toilet, and in the shower, including on a body wash bottle. Meticulously identifying every stain in court today, Miller said that some of them were swabbed and sent for DNA testing. DNA from Holly Hamilton. Miller told the court that some of the samples came back with the young woman's DNA. Justin Dumfrey has pleaded not guilty to second degree murder. The court has heard that Dumfrey was Hamilton's ex-boyfriend. In an agreed statement of facts, the Crown told the jury that twice in the past, Dumfrey pleaded guilty to assaulting Hamilton once while she was three months pregnant with the child they shared. The morning before she disappeared, Hamilton's older sister told the court the young woman was upset. Dumfrey had been texting and calling her. Later on that day, Holly Hamilton told her sister she was going to visit a friend, and that would be the last time her sister would see her alive. The trial by jury continues Monday. Kelly Batello, CHCH News.